Welcome back for another one. It's a Cora update. It's been three weeks since I did the last one, so we've got a lot to cover today. Over the past few weeks, we've really been working on a lot of skills. Uh, we introduced her to gunfire last week. We've worked on lining memories, um, lining memories in cover, working on some steadiness. We've done a whole lot of drills over the past few weeks, so it's been a lot of fun. We've shown a lot of progress and we're well on our way to hunting this season, which I'm getting super excited about. So, a few things that I wanna cover. First of all, is I'm training Cora with Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy. It's fantastic. It gives me everything that I need to know to train her, and uh, step by step, day by day, week by week, I'm using the 52 Plus program, and it has been absolutely fantastic. And uh, I've enjoyed it, because I've never trained a dog before, I've never owned a dog before, and now, She's really kind of coming along. It's been a lot of fun. But another thing is we started using this. And this is a bumper launcher that shoots off this dummy with a 22 blank. And so we had to introduce her to gunfire first before we could use that. And she is super amped up when I bring that thing out. She absolutely loves it. So we're gonna go through a few marks and uh, show you what we've been working on this week. and. It's been fun. I had to give her a bath today because this morning she decided to roll around in like raccoon or possum poop. It was great. It smells awesome. But Cora, hey, what are you thinking? You ready to do this thing? So I'm going to put the camera up. We'll do some marks with the bumper launcher and then uh, move into some working and cover stuff that we've been doing. Sit. Mark. She loves this little dummy launcher. So that is going great. I had to move out to the farm here to really get to use that bumper launcher because I haven't been able to find a good low cut field to shoot that thing off. Can't really go to the local middle school and go to the soccer field and shoot 22 blanks. But uh, to get to that point, what we had to do is I had my wife out there um, to start and she would toss the bumper and we get Cora learning to mark at a distance. So we worked on that for a week. And then last week we did uh, introduction to gunfire. So basically it was the same thing. Started out with Lauren far away, gunshot, tossed the bumper, and we worked our way closer and closer. And it didn't phase Cora one bit. It actually probably perked, it or perked her up and got her more excited. And uh, it's been very fun to see because the past three weeks have just kind of all been tied together to get us to this point where she's marking off of that bumper launcher, which is awesome. So now uh, we're going to go ahead and go over into the pasture where it's a little bit thicker cover and I'm going to show you our lining memories that we've been working on in the cover. So um, this is good because last week I actually shot the bumper launcher into some really thick stuff. I couldn't find the bumper and then sent Cora in and within like 10 seconds she found it, which is really cool. It was like a real life hunting situation where, you know, maybe like I downed a bird and thick cover, I couldn't find it. She sniffed that thing out and found it real fast. So we're gonna start working on more stuff in cover because I've noticed it kind of, she kind of has a hard time marking in cover. So we're gonna try and work towards uh, getting better at that. But 
We're gonna move into the pasture and do some lining memories out there where she can't really see the bumper, so she has to really remember where she puts, where uh, I toss it and where I send her to it. So we'll just go ahead and do one of these. Uh, you guys have seen her do this quite a bit. We walk out, toss the bumper, walk back. But this time, she's gonna have to really remember where this is. Cora, here. That bird. Come on. Yeah, she forgot where it was. Yeah, she's hunting for it. We'll do another one of these. Hunt it up. Hunt it up. Good girl, here. Good job. Here. Sit. Good. Drop. Touch. Hold. Drop. I'm gonna hold on to her this time. Heel. Heel. There's butterfly, yes, I know. Sit. That bird. Cora! She's on a pretty decent line there. There it is. Good job! Here! Here. Cora, here. Oh, she's getting attacked by a horse fly. Oh boy, get it. Get that horse fly. <laughs> yeah. Bugs have become a big distraction for us. Um, there's a horse fly that keeps eating her butt, so it's been a distraction for today, but. She was nailing this earlier today. This is her second session. I wanted to kind of finish out everything we've been working on this morning and then do a video today. I might resend her on that and uh, maybe scoot it a little closer. I want her to have that successful rep, but she crushed it this morning. Come on. The distraction level is high, and uh, we are very much still a puppy. Lots of butterflies, lots of flies, lots of things to chase, and a lot of things are biting her on her backside. That's kind of funny. But yeah, she crushed it this morning. So what we've been working on is marking off that bumper launcher, been working on lining memories in this cover, and um, we kind of worked our way from marking at a distance to gunshot introduction, to being able to mark off that bumper launcher. So these three weeks, it may seem like it wasn't a lot in this video, but it was definitely a lot of hard work getting to this point, and uh, we're definitely getting closer. So we're gonna keep working, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, it's the next day here. We're gonna be starting our session with this same drill we were working on yesterday. So um, figured I'd show you, she, she doesn't suck at it. She'll actually do it. Come on, come on.
16 geese. Sweet, where are they going? There's 16 geese out here in this pasture. They're all residential. They, they hatched on the pond down there. This will be fun. Good girl, here. Where are they going? Here. Sit. So that is the drill that we've been working on with the uh, lining memories and cover. Definitely need some practice with it, but we're gonna be working on it more in this week of training. So, um, wanted to show you guys some successful reps yesterday. You know, it was kind of iffy. We're out here. About eight o'clock, no bugs are out yet. It's not super hot. It makes for a good time when we're training. She can stay focused and uh, do everything I'm asking her to do. Well, there you have it. That's our uh, update with Cora. It's been fun. She's progressing, whether or not you guys can see or not. But uh, today was a good session this morning. It's about 11 o'clock right now. The bugs have gotten bad, so I think she's just getting distracted by all the flies biting her and everything flying around, all the butterflies. It's just all mayhem for a puppy. So um, we did get a few reps. The bumper launcher reps were fantastic. I had been having struggles with her coming all the way back to the place board, but that was not an issue this time. So that was definitely a win, but we're gonna keep working on things. We're working on steadiness. We've actually been working on lining again. So we're throwing three bumpers out instead of two like you saw in the last video. And so I'm doing heel and here, getting her to circle around. She does really good with that. So um, all in all, everything's going great. And I'm getting real pumped up about season starting and being able to take her with me. So stay tuned. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Make sure to hit me a like and uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll catch you on the next one.